I know some of you may be waiting to engage and use Power Apps. I want to show you here that it's actually very simple to use. Now I'm using an E3 Microsoft 365 environment, E3. So nothing special here. I've gone up here to my waffle. I've clicked on Power Apps and now I'm going to walk you through a multi-step. There'll be multiple videos. But this is step one of the video series on how to create the data source. And we're going to use a list as a data source because it's easy. Now we could go to list and hit Power Apps and go create an app. We're going to do this from scratch so you can get the whole experience. Stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So go ahead and go up to your waffle, open up your waffle and hit Power Apps. You're going to land at this screen. Here it's going to ask you where do you want to get your data from. We can do other sources, but we are going to keep it simple. We're going to click on SharePoint. Once we click on SharePoint, it's going to go out and tell me which account do I want to use, first of all. And I want to use this one for SharePoint. And I want to use the site Personal. You see how it says Personal right there? Now, for some reason, my sites didn't show up here. I could go actually up to the site and copy this URL and then paste it in here if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that because it's already there. I'm going to click on it. It's going to give me my list. Notice this is a list right here, DC 2021. This is the list that I want to use. So we're going to click on that and we're going to hit connect. Now this is just going to take a minute. It's going to get my environment ready for me. Now this it's going to set up a canvas for me that's a mobile canvas. That is the default that happens here. I'm just going to say, don't show this to me again. I'm going to skip. And now you see, it's actually made the app for me. So I don't have to do anything else. Notice here, I can go in. I can see some data points that are inside of this and I'm good to go. Now, we want to do a few more things to this, but that is as simple as it is to create the data source. It's very, very simple. Now, let's take a real brief explanation here on what these are. This is the browse screen where you see here. This is the detail screen where you can spawn off to edit. And then this is the edit screen. And we're going to go back. We're going to make modifications to each one of these screens and show you a few tricks on how to get this app up and published. But for right now, we're just going to simply save this app as it stands and we're going to come back to it later in our next video so let's go ahead and hit save and we're going to save we want to save it to the computer or save it to the cloud i want to save it to the cloud so i'm going to click on the cloud all right and then i'm going to hit save okay and then this is going to automatically save this out and now it's available to me i can go ahead and hit share if i want to or i'm done so i can go back to it as well or I can just close down um, Power Apps. So let's go ahead and open back up and show you where that is now that I've created it. Now, for my next video, we're going to go through some of the um, other information here. We've just saved it as app. So we're going to go ahead and make some changes to that. We can go into settings. We can do all types of things to this app. So. Tune in for the next video on step two. We're going to actually look at the Power App basics and how to kind of get around the application.